Do you ever find yourself wandering up and down the wine aisle of your local liquor store or grocery store? Well, wonder no more, your Wisconsin wine guy has got you covered. Let's taste some wine. Hello, it's Lars Shelby, the Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back again with another episode of grading wines or reviewing wines that you find every day in your grocery store or liquor store. On today's episode, let me tell you, I take the hit so you don't have to. <laughs> so today's episode, we're going to be visiting two wines. You can see here by my Hades Corker and my screw caps. The two wines are going to be your white. It's going to be Pinot Grigio from Estancia 2016 out of California. And the red is going to also be Estancia Cabernet Sauvignon 2016. So this should be very interesting. I'm looking forward to tasting these wines and give you a review. As always, thumbs up. Tells you, oh my God, I recommend this. Thumbs three quarters or sideways. Saying, you know, well, sideways saying, well, you know, maybe, possibly, check it out. Thumbs down. Get that wine out of here. Let's begin first with the Pinot Grigio. You know, I, I, I like Pinot Grigio. You have some people out there who don't like Pinot Grigios. Uh, some people just love Pinot Grigios. But when I say when I think of Pinot Grigio, I think of some very good Italian Pinot Grigios. You know, that one that's, that's aromatic, you know, nice, ripe fruit flavors. You know, but then you have a lot of those Pinot Grigios out there, on the, especially on the market, uh, the grocery store shelves that taste like they're watered down. So hopefully we find a winner in this uh, Estancia Pinot Grigio, Grigio out of California. All right, beautiful color, you know, just kind of like clear, a little hue to it. Hmm, well, a little straw color, but clear. Let's give it a smell. I mean, already that nose is just bursting with citrus and apple, you know, which is typical of a Pinot Grigio. Wow. But very, 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 that nose is just, wow, very aromatic. Hmm. Well, here we go. It's the taste. First, the rinse. And now for the taste. Mmm. Wow. Nice acidity, very crisp. Good temperature on this, too. Mmm. Apple, citrus coming on the palate here. My mouth is still watering. I mean, the finish is nice. It's smooth. I mean, I mean, very, very flavorful. Definitely a thumbs up for me on this Pinot Grigio. It's what I like, and then hopefully I, it could be a wine that you would enjoy. My mouth is still watering on that one. And hopefully this wine doesn't, you know, overshadow the Cabernet. Wow, that, that, that was great. So thumbs up on the Pinot Grigio. Now for the 2016 Estancia uh, Cabernet. Nice crimson color. Look at that. A little crimson with uh, deep purple hues on it. Hmm. Well, again, I mean, a nose that's just like poof. You know, it's just it's just all there. Poof. Man, how fantastic is that? Hmm. All right, now for the uh, taste. That's the Ritz. Now for the taste. Mm. I mean, again, it's not that Cabernet that sucks all the moisture out of your mouth because of the, the very harsh tannins. These tannins are medium, soft medium. Lots of flavor exists there. Mm. Subtle smokiness, very subtle smokiness. Nice acidity again. I mean, here's the wine that can be drinking. You're just going to enjoy it on its own or wine you can enjoy with food. You know, for so for the Estancia Cabernet, the Wisconsin Wine Guy gives it a thumbs up. I mean, I thoroughly enjoy both of these wines. Let's give it a replay. Mm. Pinot Grigio plays nice after the Cabernet. Cabernet, which we already know, plays nice after Pinot Grigio. And again, this, both of these are dry wines, but it's not lacking in fruit. I always say if you can't taste the fruit, then what's the point? 
So very well balanced in both of these wines. So again, Estancia, Pinot Grigio, Cabernet Sauvignon, Wisconsin wine. I give both of these wines a thumbs up. We'll see you next time when I review two wines that I recommend or not recommend that you try in your local grocery store or liquor store shelves. Bye.